Hey everyone, this is Dino Hira from the Modern Yogi Co. I hope this uh, video finds you in great health, in uh, great spirits, and great energy. But if it doesn't, then I hope uh, by the end of this video, you will be feeling more positive. So there's something I want to share that happened uh, from one of my meditation classes this morning. Uh, I had a session online with uh, one of my clients who was in uh, Melbourne. And there was something, she came to me quite stressed. Um, she came to me quite distressed. I mean, we have, we've had meditation sessions in the past, but this time I could feel that, wow, um, she's definitely not feeling her uh, herself. And uh, she came to me and said, I've lost my job. Um, I feel my health is not what it used to be anymore. I have no motivation to exercise and uh, I feel like I'm losing control of my life. And that's quite deep, you know, to, to share with me. But when people come to me in sharing this information, they are looking for ways to let out their emotions. They're looking for ways to, of course, get better. So she said that I've heard that, yes, um, you know, stay in the present moment. That's a way to get over with the troubles that are happening around you. Yes, that's true. So this is what I want to share in this video is uh, effective ways on how you can stay in the present moment. And one way is of course the breath. So taking, being conscious of the way you're breathing will allow you to soak in of what's happening right now. There are people around the world with ventilators, but be grateful that if you're watching this video in good health, you can breathe effectively. Okay, so that's one way to stay in the present moment. The second way I find is your senses. So being aware of, of what's around your environment at the moment. So I see a beautiful picture in my background. I um, see the a salt lamp. I see, you know, uh, myself, clothes I'm wearing, whatever it is, it is that you are seeing in the present moment. Seeing, feeling, tasting, whatever you can do to ignite the senses will bring you in the present moment as well. So it allows you to not worry about what's going to happen, you know, 10 seconds later, what's going to happen a minute later. You're enjoying what your senses can bring you in the present moment. Okay, so now the third technique is something that's been so effective for me and has been really effective in that meditation session we just did. And um, yeah, she was she got up feeling revitalized, feeling like a different person altogether. So it comes down to affirmations. I find affirmations are just use of positive conscious words that help serve you. They help raise your vibrations so you can emit a frequency in the universe that helps you manifest whatever, you, whatever it is that you like. There is so much abundance in this world as well, but of course, there's also greed and there is also um, you know, limiting thoughts that don't allow us to tap into that abundance. So today I'm going to share with you an affirmation that I've used that helps you not only do you stay in the present moment, but also tap into an abundance, tap into an abundance that's there for all of us. Okay, so it's an abundance of health that I'm going to focus on today because I feel health is something that is really wealth any any time I've always believed that and I've always believed if you've got great health um, you're you're rich you're immense wealth okay because if you don't have your health everything else deteriorates around you okay so we're gonna focus on this affirmation on health now the thing with affirmations it's not just saying these words it's not saying these words of course you've got to be conscious of the words you use but your affirmations will only work if you have the ability to visualize as well, and if you have the ability to feel. Now, feeling is the most important because it creates energy. Now, energy is like, you know, emotions. Emo your, energy, your emotions are energy in motion. That's, that's what I always uh, love hearing. And it's, um, it, your energy doesn't you know, distinguish between what's good and what's bad for you. It's the way you control it. It's the way you emit a frequency that comes back uh, for you. So in this affirmation, um, I'm going to use the word, I am healthy. Now, I am healthy is a very vast uh, topic. Health is a very vast 
uh, topic. Uh, so being healthy, what does healthy mean to you? Is it eating a salad? Is it uh, working out in, in the park or at home now? And uh, or so yeah, what, what is healthy to you? Is it uh, running after your kids? Is it, um, you know, whatever it is, use that to imagine. So when I say the affirmation, I am healthy, it uh, allows you to visualize. So visualize yourself, say running on a beach. Uh, you know, be creative. The more creative you are, the more you open up your opportunities as well. Now, the second line I'm gonna use is I am vibrant. Uh, I am vibrant. So vibrancy, what does that mean to you? Is it bright colors? Is it the sun? Is it um, your uh, amazing energy? Like, what does vibrant mean to you? Okay, so think of that as we're gonna go into these affirmations. And the last one is right now. So when you say right now, you are focusing your attention on the present moment, okay? So you're bringing your subconscious into what's happening right now. So we're gonna say uh, these three times together, but ideally you wanna do these first thing in the morning when you wake up and uh, you know, you're know you fresh, your subconscious mind is just getting um, you're relaxed. But even at night, before you go to sleep, uh, the last 15 minutes before you go to sleep, that's when you can talk to your subconscious mind. And uh, when you wake up, that's when you're tuning into your conscious mind. So what you're feeling in your subconscious will allow you to attract what is in your conscious. Now keep in mind that 90% of us is subconscious. 10% of us is conscious, is, uh, is consciousness in the real world. So language, the way we interact, where we talk to people is our conscious mind. And that constitutes just 10%. So think of so much abundance within you that you can tap into as well. All right, so let us get started. So the way I like to start my affirmations is take a few deep breaths. So in my previous videos, you would have seen the most effective way to breathe is through the nose, allow your stomach to expand, hold, and as you exhale through the nose again, your stomach will contract. Okay, so we'll do a few, few of these, few deep breaths. Close your eyes because closing your eyes allows you to um, you know, experience non-judgment because when you're Looking at other things allows you to get distracted, and uh, when you're doing it with, with others as well, it allows you to, um, you know, it'll, it'll just distract you in many ways, okay? Let's just say that. Though, um, okay, so deep breaths, and then when you're saying your affirmations, so like I said, your emotions, your feelings, is what determines if these affirmations are gonna work for you, or they're just gonna simply waste your time. Okay, so you've got to connect with your feelings, you've got to connect with what's in your heart. Um, so I, I like to hold my heart because it allows me to stay conscious about what's happening in here. Uh, your beautiful heart, full of love. So love is the most powerful force in the universe and it's going to attract in many ways for you. Alright, so let us get started. So take a few deep breaths. Feel your stomach expanding as you breathe in and contracting as you breathe out. Okay. And every exhale, just learn, just relax, check in with your posture, check in that you're seated comfortably. If you need to adjust in any way, so be it. So this will just be a very quick one, but it'll give you a good energy reset. Now hand on your heart. And remember, when I say I'm healthy, imagine yourself, whatever health means to you, whether it's control over what you're eating, how you're exercising. Imagine that, okay, wherever you are. I am healthy. I am vibrant right now. Let that soak in for a bit. 
allow you to feel what you're actually saying because this is a conversation with your subconscious it's got nothing to do with what's around you this is a conversation with how you can effectively increase your vibration and after a deep breath again I am healthy I am vibrant I am enough right now so I've thrown in that extra line I am enough okay know that you are enough to make anything happen I am healthy I am vibrant I am enough right now there you go that's an example of uh, affirmations that you can yeah, use for your health and you can use to reset your energy and feel more positive okay so comment below let me know how you feel if you have any questions message me if you do want to book a meditation session you can do so through uh, the modern yogi.co and there's so much knowledge that I just can't wait to share there's so many interesting projects coming up that I'll update you on uh, but please stay healthy uh, stay positive and um, you know use your affirmations to your advantage thank you for tuning in namaste